Here comes the Miracle Man, SVG. Shane Van Gisbergen, the 18-year-old Kiwi, making his V8 supercar debut. And then Shane Van Gisbergen for Team Kiwi in position 19. So not a bad start to your V8 supercar career. And I know a lot of people on the other side of the Tasman will be watching and cheering for this young bloke. This is the moment of the race. Wind Cup locks it up. Lowndes goes zooming on through. And so does Shane Van Gisbergen. This will be the first time that Shane Van Gisbergen finds himself on a race podium. First podium for Shane Van Gisbergen, Shane Walder. Thank you, it was a great race out there. We started ninth and got to the front pretty quickly. And... This 21-year-old Kiwi, born in Auckland. They've waited a long time. No Kiwi driver has won here in Hamilton. We've had some awesome racing. We've seen the best of the best master this circuit. Shane Van Gisbergen, a moment to remember. This is the day the wild child arrived. Victory for the Giz at home. New Zealand driver, how good is that? This will be a lifelong memory. Incredible, how's that feel for you? Oh, can you believe it? Yeah! Can Shane Van Gisbergen deliver Techno Autosports their first win? The Holden VF Commodore and Techno Autosports get their first win. The Gears is the Clipsal champion of 2013. Oh, it's unbelievable. Uh, best race, the car was awesome, another pole, but I can't thank uh, the Webb family for taking me on. The whole of the Techno Autosports team, family back at home, uh, it's amazing. And the Quins from VIP, it's awesome. So, uh, And thanks for everyone for who stuck behind me, it was really good. One lap. One more lap of Sydney Motorsport Park. Can Van Gisbergen hang on? What a race. Race 18 of the Supercars Championship of 2016 has been an absolute boomer of a race. Van Gisbergen gets the job done. It was pretty cool. I uh, definitely enjoyed that one. Our champion elect is going to win his eighth race of 2016. Shane Van Gisbergen is the winner on the streets of Sydney Olympic Park. Number one, 2016, the Giz. It's smoke signals at Sydney Olympic oh. Park and a nearly a little bit of panel damage to boot. That is a champion's performance this year. He's been a Jason Richards Trophy winner before at this location. Oh. And there's a big crowd of people here watching him. Has that had an effect? He got across the line with 5.7 seconds. Van Gisbergen over Scotty McLaughlin. Has he locked him in? That's an old trick where you park right up alongside and they can't get out. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was one of the coolest races we've ever had. Woo! What was the move here? Block an old mate in there so he couldn't get out of his car. I didn't even mean to do that, but whatever. So this is the last lap. McLaughlin's in fuel trouble. Van Gisbergen's gonna potentially threaten to snatch this in the dying moments. He's about to lose the position. He's got Van Gisbergen up on the outside of him. There's just two corners to go. He makes a lunge down the inside. Van Gisbergen's gonna grab it. Shane Van Gisbergen's gone to the lead. They're out of fuel for car 17. McLaughlin's gonna struggle to the line. Red Bull are gonna pull one out of the fire here. 150 points to Shane Van Gisbergen. What an extraordinary finish. Superb performance as we pick up on Shane Van Gisbergen who will win the Jason Richards Memorial. And that will be an emotional time for Shane prestigious Jason Richards Trophy awarded to our best performing driver for Shane Van Gisbergen. Shane Van Gisbergen is about to put his foot on the brake for the very last time and line it up to the chequered flag. The 31-year-old Kiwi is the master of Bathurst and Shane Van Gisbergen takes victory at Mount Panorama. Beautiful moment. That is a symbolic moment for whole fans and for the Holden history at this place. Congratulations, Shane Van Gisberg and Garth Panda, victorious at Mount Panorama. Thanks to my guys, we had a great car and um, great way to send out Holden and yeah, thanks to Garth, did an awesome job. And...
now. We've got a great battle on between Mostert, Waters and Winkup. And closing in from afar is Shane Van Gisbergen. Next time through, it's going to be three laps to go. Waters is down the inside. This is going to be a change for the lead. A nice job, Cam Waters. You've got Winkup up on the outside of Mostert. Here comes Van Gisbergen. Oh, 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 He's gone down oh. the inside. And Van Gisbergen's gone to second. He might. He might threaten the lead here. Waters over Van Gisbergen by nothing. Shane Van Gisbergen's got the lead of the motor race with one lap remaining at Sandown. Unbelievable drive. Shane Van Gisbergen is the winner at Sandown after 36 crazy laps. Van Gisbergen put together something special for all of us to witness this year. To officially crown him the champion of the 21 season. He's got Van Gisbergen crawling all over him at the moment, and so Shane goes high. If he can get round the outside, he knows he can displace him at turn 10. He goes for the crisscross out the other side. He looks to try and apply some better traction and drive out there. He's up to the outside of the Mustang at turn 10. Now it's around the other way. Is there courtesy? And Van Gisbergen takes the lead in New Zealand in the final race. Shane Van Gisbergen wins in New Zealand. Shane Van Gisbergen, the winner of the Repco Bathurst 1000. So Shane now oh, celebrating awesome. his Repco Supercars Championship victory.